Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover complementary angles. Now, complementary angles are two angles that add up to 90 degrees. So if the sum of two angles is 90 degrees, they're complementary. Let's jump into our examples where we have complementary angles, but one of the angles will be unknown or missing, and we need to find that missing angle measure. For number one, we are given an angle measure of 25 degrees right here. So angle W, X, Z equals 25 degrees. We need to figure out the angle measure of angle Z, X, Y. Now we know that the two angles are complementary. They will equal 90 degrees. So we have 25 degrees plus what will give us that 90 degrees? Now you may be able to think through this and figure it out using mental math and think, well, 25 degrees plus what equals 90 degrees? Well, 25 plus 65. So our missing angle measure is going to be 65 degrees. Angle ZXY equals 65 degrees. If you can figure these out mentally, that works for sure. But if not, that's fine too. What we can do, we can take the 90 degrees that we know these two angles are going to add up to. So let's write 90 degrees and we can subtract the angle measure that we are given. So 90 degrees minus 25 degrees. Now we're ready to subtract. So we have zero minus five, we need to borrow. Let's borrow from the nine here. And we have 10 minus five, which is five. And then eight minus two is six. So we get 65 degrees that way as well. Again, 90 degrees, because we know the two angles are going to add up to 90 degrees, and we can subtract the given angle measure in order to get that missing angle measure. We can also check to see if our answer is correct by adding our two angles and then seeing if it equals 90 degrees. So let's double check here. We can do 65 degrees plus 25 degrees. If that equals 90, then we're good to go. Five plus five is 10, so we have a zero here. Carry the one. One plus six is seven, plus two is nine. So those two angles equal 90. We have the correct answer there. The missing angle there is 65 degrees. Let's try another example here and move on to number two, where we have a given angle measure of 72 degrees. So angle G, F, H equals 72 degrees. We need to figure out angle H, F, E. So let's do 90 degrees. We have complementary angles here, so we know they are going to equal 90 and we are going to subtract the given angle measure. Now again, if you can figure this out mentally, that's great, that works. But if not, that's fine too. We can always write out a subtraction problem to find that angle. So we have zero minus two, let's borrow. We have 10 minus two, which is eight, and then eight minus seven, one. So our missing angle, angle HFE, is going to be 18 degrees. Let's double check to make sure. So we'll do 72 degrees plus 18 degrees. Make sure it equals 90. Two plus eight is 10. So let's put our zero, carry the one. And then one plus seven is eight, plus one is nine. So those two angles do in fact equal 90. We have the correct angle measure for HFE, 18 degrees. So there you have it. There's an explanation of complementary angles. Remember, two angles that add up to 90 degrees. And then how we go about finding a missing complementary angle. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.